okay good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today we are going to be cross-checking this manual design with that of the calculation on start pro connect edition so this is gotten from this sci document example 11 and is a biaxial um, bending that biaxial bending so the height of the stanchion is five meters and in the major axis it has a moment of 30 kilonewton meter and in the minor axis it has a moment of one kilonewton meter so the section is 203 by 203 by 46 universal column section with a steel grade of 275 so we are going to model this on start pro so open start pro then pick yes then y five meters yes so from node one one and two okay so next next thing i do is go to my property and assign this section 203 by 203 by 46 british section so i go to british uc and assign 203 by 203 by 46 so add use assign to view or use cursor to assign assign so the next thing you are going to do is you assign your material still then if you have any specifications you assign but for now we don't have any specifications so we we'll assign to support so from uh from the instruction i know it is pinned support at the base and it is fixed at the top so i'm going to model that type of support so the first thing i do now is go to start pro support create pin support add assign to use cursor to assign and assign it to this point then the next one i'm going to create a fixed bot so create fixed bot yes so add so use cursor to assign and i'll assign it here okay sorry use cursor to assign and i'll assign it here okay so you can see this then the next thing i'll do now is to load it from the loadings given so from the loading from the loadings given i can see that i'm giving a design a design axial load of 590 design moment of 30 and design moment of one so i don't need to create any load factor again so i'll easily go here add the name i want is design load add close add so my axial load on the nodal load is fy is minus 590 my mx is 1 and my mz is 30 so add sorry the next one then use cursor to assign to assign to the top so i can see my axial load my moment and the other moments in the other direction so next thing i'll do is go to my analysis define command and add close so run your analysis run your analysis so you wait for the analysis to perform so we have zero error zero one is zero node so we can go to our post processing so you click go to your post processing now so let's see our reactions or our results so go to the beam results so i can see my major moment like that of this this is the major and you can see my minor so i can see my reaction on node one i have a value of 590 that's the reaction then on this is like the load then fy i'm going to have fy in the fy direction then the f of the fz direction i also have values so mx i will have zero then my in node two i'm going to have a moment there then mz2 moment there okay so this is my major moment and let's see my minor moment that is my so hold control key and scroll up to increase the scale okay so this is the minor moment so we are done with that so the next thing we do now is let's go to the design so let's cross check if this column is adequate enough so go to design design now we're using the euro code because the sci documents used euro code euro code with uk national annex so there's going to be some parameters we are going to be inserting into this now so so these are the loads we created okay so let's go back so the first thing i need now is to select the parameters i'm interested in bring this out so i can select c1 or cmm any one of them 
so let's see one or cmm so since in this question we're giving the c1 i'll select my c1 then i need my kc i need my national annex i need um my okay grid is already like i bring this then track i need my track then zg since, since it's not a beam i'm not going to use it so i'll leave this okay so click ok so you go to your defined parameters so my c1 now to get your value for your c1 i have another sci document you can see it from this place okay so if you have a udl pinned end beam your c1 will be 1.13 if you have a central point load pin end then it will be 1.35 then if you have a triangular bending moment pin at one end it will be 1.17 or you can use your CMM, anyone. So I'm going to change it to 1.77 as the books, as the code says, 1.77 add. Then my KC, I'll leave it at zero for my um, for the program to calculate. Add. Then my national annex, I'm choosing the UK. Add. Then this, I'm going to choose this grid of steel. Add. Then my track, I want track two, output detail then add close okay so open parameter one and assign everything to view assign to view assign to view assign to view then assign to view now i want to show you what the cmm value does let me bring cmm loading type also so in case if you don't have c1 you can use cmm you go to your cmm and you pin the one you want either is a pinned end member with uniform loading fixed end member with uniform loading pin end member with central point loading pin end member with so you just pick whatever you want so go back there and remove my cmm okay so i can see my c1 kc na sgr and track 2 have been assigned so the next thing i'll do is i'll check the code add close so assign to view then run your analysis so we have zero error zero one zero node so we'll go to our output file okay so open it click your steel design so first of all i can see it pass the section i chose pass and this is this value so the next you see my grid of steel all these values so let's go and cross check our answer with that of this so the first one we have is um the class and it's class one section class class one so let's see let's see the class it is okay section classification so therefore this is class one so you can see it's class one okay so we have that already start pro provided that for us class one so let's have a squash load okay squash load mm -hmm. so we can see our squash load 16 14.25 and this is sorry i can have to minimize this okay so this is our squash load 16 16 14.3 that was 25 then which other parameter we're checking again so you can see your gmo in case if you put gmo gm1 can check it there then we can see our um compression capacity you can check it there you can see your moment capacity you can see your reduce so let's check for this okay so let me check this is okay plastic moment resistance so 136.7 and this is it moment capacity in the z direction and let's see in the y axis so the y we should get something like 63.5 let's check it out sorry let's check it out 63.5 so we can see it so let's check the other axis sorry so the other axis is 97.9 and 61.6 so we have 98.4 and 61.7 so we have something close so you can check other factor you can check the mcr and other values so thank you for watching today's video on start pro connect edition please if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and i'll reply thank you very much